Welcome to Bulgaria! Again. This is Eddie. He's really thrilled and excited to be here again in Bulgaria. The thing is that on our way home we decided that uh, hey, why not spend another night in Bulgaria and visit something like a new city or a place we haven't been before so we decided to visit Plovdiv! So here we are. You cannot really tell because we booked an apartment. Actually, it's close by to the city center and I want to show you the Oh, kind of okay apartment, I guess. Oh. And he's really uh, stoked because we have a TV. Today we're gonna watch the another Euro game. Um, this is the living room. We have a couch. This is the kitchen, as you can see, with everything. Actually, this apartment is really big. Usually we uh, we book like studio stuff like that, but this one has actually uh, two rooms. And this is the bedroom. Looks okay. This is me, <laughs> and um, it looks pretty good. I was something like 50 leva, so in the local currency, I think that's around 30 dollars, something like that. Anyhow, it's super big, it's walking distance from the center. There's uh, free parking on the street, and I'm super tired because it took forever to get here from Greece. I drove for like I don't know six hours six hours and a half something like that it was super hot in greece they were, they were like some point the car temperature sensor uh showed uh, displayed like um 38 degrees celsius degrees which is just crazy you couldn't breathe like the air conditioning wasn't uh getting any air inside it was super hot yeah it was really bad right here right now is there are about 30 degrees still extremely hot um, as always I'm really spontaneous when I book stuff uh, like apartments and places to stay so just book this place uh, after we arrived in the city so from that moment um, like 15 minutes later we arrived at the location so we had to call the owner and um, they had to come here it took them like one hour to come here it's not their fault but you know maybe it's a bit of my fault because uh, i'm always booking uh, apartments really late <sighs> yeah that's it but also you know when you book an apartment like really late for the day you usually get discounts on booking at least you get a discount for you know because it was already seven by the time i booked it so like um chances that somebody else will book it are really low by that point um also if you want to uh, book on booking i suggest using the mobile app because uh, usually you can find discounts only for mobile and um well it's not a lot but it's something so basically i just book from my phone even when i'm at home yeah so those are my tips for cheap accommodation also this is like walking distance from the center so it's also uh, it has a good location oh uh, we will go see the center of plopti see how it looks like i have no idea i don't know what to expect haven't been here before i have not seen any pictures so I have no idea and uh, then we have to do some work we'll watch the Euro today is Italy versus Spain I guess so I don't know when you're gonna watch this but uh, uh, right now the moment uh, the present moment in my video is uh, like the semi-finals of the Euro 2020 which is played in 2021 yeah that's another story for football fans the European capital of culture in 2019. The old town in Plovdiv is included in UNESCO World Heritage Tentative List since 2004. Nebet Tepe is one of the hills of Plovdiv where the ancient town was founded. The earliest settlements that can be found here are dated back to 4000 BC. The site was first settled by Thracians, later expanded by Philip II of Macedon and the Roman Empire. As the town expanded, Nebetepe became the citadel of the town's acropolis tonight. 
The city has cultural and architectural elements from different periods and the most important are the Antiquity, the Middle Ages and the Bulgarian Revival. Plovdiv is an important economical, cultural and educational center in Bulgaria. During most of its recorded history, Plovdiv was known by the name of Filipopolis, which comes from Greek and it literally means Philip City as it was named after Philip II of Macedonia, the father of Alexander the Great, the king of ancient Macedonia. The Roman Republic conquered the Macedonian Kingdom in 168 BC, when Philippopolis became the capital of the Roman province of Thracia. So uh, we uh, are right in the center of the city in Plovdiv, uh, right at sunset. The light is magical. We had a wonderful sunset over there. and. Uh, I had no idea that actually Plovdiv has a bunch of uh, ruin um, from the Roman Empire. Actually, Eddie read a bunch of uh, stuff about it. So they have a um, stadium, a theater, apparently they have a mosque, interesting. And I just found a tiny replica of the stadium and I'm gonna show it to you. So it's right this one. As you can see, it's pretty big and basically what we see here is here or just part of it. They rebuilt this tiny part, but so it's this part over here. surprise today there is a huge live concert in the um, Roman uh, theater here in Plovdiv and Eddie would you mind sharing what you just told me about the theater I know I saw it in a bunch of uh, like concerts because it has this unique backdrop yeah so like for example there's like a Leibach concert with the orchestra the, the orchestra from Plovdiv next week so that kind of thing and you can find uh, concerts on YouTube, I think. So if you ever wondered where such concerts are uh, played, apparently Plovdiv is one famous place for such concerts in a uh, Roman uh, uh, backdrop. That was really stupid. I think I saw Plo I remember seeing Plovdiv and I imagined it, it was somewhere in Italy. Yes, exactly. Me right? too. I think I saw some concerts. Uh, it's right here. The Romans were everywhere. So we made it back home! After, I don't know, six hours from uh, Plovdiv to Bucharest, it took forever because uh, there were almost no highways in uh, Bulgaria and it was hot again once more, there were like too many degrees outside and I think my air conditioning stopped working at some point yesterday because it was so, uh, so cold, <laughs> so, so hot, because it was so hot. Um, and uh, we just entered our apartment, got back home, and we just said, oh my god, actually, it's not bad. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I drove for like um, 1,800 kilometers this entire trip. Uh, it took, I think, 10 days uh, from Bucharest to Bansko, from Bansko to Thessaloniki, and then to Plovdiv, and then back to Bucharest. So we visited four places, 
Um, I would say you would need more time if you want to go to Greece, but not go right now. In summer, it's really hot. Bansko was really nice. It's walkable. Didn't drive a lot, a lot around Bansko, but still, um, 1,800 kilometers is uh, it's a crazy road trip. So, took me a lot of driving. That's why I'm really, really tired. And I have to go to work now. So I hope you enjoyed our road trip. Uh, all of our road trips, actually. We have more coming and more trips planned for this summer. So hope you're gonna check that out. Check my other Romanian road trips from last year and all the European road trips I have on my channel. Thank you for watching and, uh, you know, subscribe, leave a comment. See you next time. Thank you.